so I left out for school and I kind of made sure that I'm taking lunch with me because in the days I really just be out here <laughs> starving well not really because I always make sure that I eat breakfast before I go and then we have like 15 minutes at like 10 o'clock where we get breaks I can eat like a snack or like a granola bar or one of those and then this is probably mad cloudy and then after that we get lunch from 12 to 1 so I'll make sure that I eat something else again but I don't feel like oh I need something or I'm gonna die of hunger no it's never like that but I made sure that I brought lunch with me so when I eat a wholesome lunch between 12 and 1 o'clock then I'll have like enough energy by the time that I get home to still make dinner and not feel like I'm starving we're down to today's what date today's the 12th we my last class is the 21st so I pretty much have like two weeks left tops which is pretty crazy and pretty exciting all at the same time it has been multiple days later this is my second week of school and let me just tell you guys how our instructor is just not playing with the tests so today is Wednesday I got two tests today two yesterday getting two tomorrow got four Monday and Monday coming I think we're either gonna do two or four she gave us a calendar of like all the tests that we're gonna get so I have to make sure that I stay studying it's a good thing that I was writing the questions out of the book the other day and like answering them because those have really been helping I've wrote I've written out up to chapter um, 11 tomorrow we're getting chapters 9 and 10 Monday 11 12 so it's pretty much to all of next week we're getting tests so this weekend I'm really gonna have to put some studying in tomorrow and I have an appointment that I'm gonna have to go to on Saturday and then um, two two the the days that we're getting one it's a very long one and um she said it has a surprise but the final two chapter mm -mm, the final four chapters are on the 20th and um, or clinicals start on the 22nd to the 27th um, so four days of clinical and then graduation is the 28th which is also crazy because I feel like I literally just started and the course is pretty much almost done I've been doing super good in the test the first two chapters I got a hundred percent because like I said I did study and um, the second two they weren't marked yet so I don't know how much I got in those and the rest of them to be honest the two yesterday the first one I did amazing the second one not so good today you know cuz I feel like they're just right behind each other and you don't really get a lot of time to listen all I know is the skills that we have to do those we've been spending most of the time on doing the skills because the um prometrics test that we're gonna do has you don't know what skills you're gonna get we will be tested in five areas. Two skill, two um, hand washing and indirect care are mandatory. And then we get three skills to do. You don't know which three skills you're doing, so you have to learn all the skills. All 22 skills. They're not too bad, though, because we've pretty much mastered all 22 of the skills. But I, I just haven't been having the time to vlog and to do all that because I really have to just be studying non-stop to make sure that I'm passing these tests so um there's that but right now I'm not even cooking today because a couple of days ago I made shrimp pasta and there's still some of that left in the fridge so I'm just like listen I need to be studying so I'm gonna study and then that could suffice for this evening and um yeah so I'm gonna eat something right now I'm eating some curry chicken and stuff and then I'm gonna go right back to the studying but I have a vlog still on this camera and this memory card not even a vlog it was pretty much a get ready with me still have not gotten to that yet but I feel like you know the course is just a month so 
after it's done, I'm going to get to relax and do all that I feel like I want to do. So right now, I don't mind being under this much pressure. Anyways, that's what's up. Pretty much an update. I'm just out here trying to see if I can live my best life and hit up a few parties here and there <laughs> when I can afford to. And my instructor is just making sure that there is no time to live your best life because she literally has two tests scheduled for every day for the next two weeks. Who is this lady? Today was a very productive day where I got all that I had to do done. I'm just coming back from the doctor where I got this stupid shot, which is hurting. And then he was rubbing on it. And I'm just like, what is going on? And he was like, oh, got to make sure it goes in, sir. I think it went in the moment you stuck me with a big ass needle. And so now I'm home and I'm going to relax and maybe not study, drink some wine. Also, I bought... The text, my school rented me the textbook, but I bought one on Amazon and the one that I bought on Amazon was for $8. It's used, but it's actually amazing for what I want it for because I can take notes and like mark in the book and not have to pay for it because I already paid $8 for it, which I think is really good and helps in studying. So it shows some of the points that, you know, you need to zero in on when studying, but right now, we're up to chapter 18. Chapter 18 was the last exam I did today. And today was the end of week two, which is pretty dope. So next week, I'm going to do 19 and 20 on Monday. And then um, 22 to 24, 21 to 24 on Tuesday. For two weeks, I feel like we covered a whole lot for a program that is pretty much like a crash course. Because these programs are a little bit longer than a month. So we covered up to 19 chapters, 18 chapters, and the whole book is 24 chapters, which I feel like is really good. And why I bought the book is because I want to stay going through the book even after I'm done with the course because I feel like it's really good to stay up to date with what's going on and to actually know what you're doing, you know? Not just know just to pass the test, but know to actually know. Music outside is annoying. Anyways, I feel like this is where I'm going to end the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.